Uh, letting Amanda know that um, she does need to make one request to her budget right out of the gate, so to speak. Um, we have received the health insurance rates, so we now know whether there's an increase or a decrease, and we can report that, yes, there is an increase. Um, medical across the board for all the different plans the town offers is going up 7.3%, and dental is going up 2%. So to cover the employees that um, the library currently has and um, have coverage, that line needs to be adjusted to $100,895. So Health when we insurance. put these budgets together, we always know that we're waiting for certain items. And when it's my turn in a little while, we'll know that um, in personnel administration, we'll have to do the same thing. The so figure again? $100,895 needs to be put onto her medical line, or her health insurance Eight, line, I believe nine, is how it is. So okay, thank I you. just wanted to give you that little update. Oh, man, that's all yours. <laughs> Thank you. So my budget has very few changes in it, <laughs> partly because of those health insurance rate increases. Um, we knew going in, we had a policy we added at the beginning of 2018, but we were in a default budget, so we've been scraping to try to pay for it this year, but again, we need to ask for it for 2019. Um, I also have a staff member who will be um, taking a couple's plan and so that adjustment has to be made as well. And then we need to make the, the rate increase change. And so those are really the three drivers for the changes in my budget. I have, there's a small decrease in the rate for the New Hampshire retirement and a small increase in my HVAC maintenance. The two of those cancel each other out. It comes within $4 of each other. So really the only change to the entire library budget is health, health insurance related. Thank you. Questions on the board? It just, our, our bottom line now, um, Christy, instead of the 882606. 983-501. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. Let me pick up Eight eight four four eleven four eleven. Okay. Thank you. It's about an additional $1,800, something like exactly. that. Exactly. Yep. Okay. I'll be happy to move that figure. If I, you... I have a question. Yeah. yeah. So in, in 17, the health insurance was 69000 mm -hmm. And then because of the budget, it was sixty two. so this year. But then it goes it goes up to a hundred thousand. What I mean is that all because of the increase, or is that is that because There's, of added staff? So the full time staff member who added a plan in twenty eighteen, and next year there'll be a couples plan. Okay. So right. yeah. So it's so all. It's but two. it's not new staff. It's staff. No, there. exactly. Staff that didn't take the insurance prior. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rick, do you have anything? No, you've done a nice job with your budget. Thank you. Yeah, and I just want to, I'll second your motion, Mary Louise, and I also want to say that I think Amanda does a really good job, and I've been talking to her on some other things besides her budget, and she has some uh, nice community events and a strategic plan that uh, maybe one day we can have her in to discuss. I think it's something that would be really nice for the community. So, so to confirm, we're moving $884,411 for her 2019 budget as approved by the Board of Selectmen. Correct. Thank you. 